Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video where I'm going to go through my key tips for the IB High Level Paper 3 and this applies whether you're doing the Analysis and Approaches course or the Applications and Interpretations and hopefully these common sense tips will really help you succeed where many other students will get overwhelmed by how difficult the Paper 3 can be. Okay, so let's go through first of all the High Level Applications and Interpretation Paper 3 so notice this is a one hour paper compared to the other two papers and out of 55 marks and you have to do quite a lot in order to get those 55 marks within the very short space of time. Uh, my first tip here is if you're going to use your graphical display calculator, particularly on this course rather than the analysis course, then you do need to show some support by suitable working. So for example, if you're going to use a graphical solution for an equation, then you need to sketch a solution as part of your answer. So make sure you leave yourself plenty of time to do that as well. Okay, my first key point, however, is that, remember these have two questions. So this question here, number one, is out of 27 marks. Wherever I scroll down, the second question is out of 28 marks. Generally, they will be equally weighted. And the key thing is to make sure that you get the first 10, 15 marks on both questions. One of the worst things you can do here is say you're going through question one and so far up to point F it's making some sense to you and then you get completely stuck by part G and H which is re uh, relying on the phase shifting of complex numbers. The worst thing you can do here is spend lots and lots of time trying to work this out and remember the formulae and applying the formula sheet etc and then not leaving yourself enough time to do the uh, straightforward parts of the question on question two. Okay, so the, one of the key things here is to make sure that you leave yourself plenty of time. Number two is a general tip for this kind of paper. And it's a lot of marks within a very short space of time. So really do give yourself 30 minutes for the first question. So I'll scroll back to the first question. Give yourself 30 minutes exactly for this question. And then give yourself 30 minutes exactly for the second question. Make sure you're really, really disciplined on the amount of time that you give for that. Okay, and my third key tip here as well is use the reading time that you will get for the exam. So remember, with the IB exam, you get five minutes reading time. Make sure that you are there on time for the exam so you can really read through the instructions of the question. Notice here, for example, question one, uh, which is based on sinusoidal modeling, that you really do need time to actually read through this actual particular question. And you'll notice this part in bold here really sets up the situation for what kind of maths you're going to use. So for example here, working with revolutions, you know there's going to be some kind of sinusoidal model there before you even read the next part of the question. Likewise, if I go to question two here, we're talking about validity and reliability of statistical methods, then you know there's going to be some kind of hypothesis testing involved. So use that bold phrase at the start of the question to really give you an idea of, okay, I'm going to need the statistics part of my formula sheet here. I need to have that ready before I start the question. Okay, and on to the higher level analysis and approaches paper as well. So again, this is from May 2021. So you can see the paper here, again, very similarly distributed to the applications, high level paper as well. So this is 27 marks here, and we've got here out of 28 marks. And the same kind of tips apply. One extra tip I would give for the analysis paper uh, specifically, remember that this is a calculator paper. So many of the methods you've seen on the analysis course do involve non-calculator methods. That's really, really important in order to have a good understanding of the analysis course. However, when it comes to this particular paper, paper three, do use your graphical display calculator. So talk to your teacher, make sure you're happy with all the calculator methods that you should be used to using either your TI Inspire or CG50 or TI84 and um, really get experience on using that because you'll have a lack of experience using that compared to the high level application students so you need to be able to use that correctly. And if you're looking for more practice with paper three, I know out there it's a very difficult paper to prepare for. Now I've actually done a walkthrough on a typical paper three question uh, from the specimen paper so please do check it out right in front of you. Hopefully that will be useful to you as well. 